there, beloved Ascension Pioneers, and welcome to this update on energetic Ascension exercises. Recently, I was guided and called to create the Ascension exercise video playlist on YouTube channel that I have, Ascension Pioneers, and you can check that out under my playlists because there's been a lot of questions on the Ascension symptoms lately, and I feel we are onto something, so I asked Spirit what am I called to share today and just before going to bed last night spirit gave me the short attunement exercise um, as we're moving through these passageway times so this is what I want to talk about today as you can see it's pretty cloudy and rainy here again yesterday we had some Sun finally here in our mountain portal because we've had quite a lot of rain and it was a lot of purging coming after the eclipse gateway and this takes place within us internally as well and everything happens in the mountains first as you know mountains are the high point where then everything starts to descend from even the water that it flows down into the valley through many numerous streams and flows so um, we went for a short road trip yesterday which was pretty fantastic and you can see a lot of these updates and pictures that I share from my personal journey where I really kind of go on these short trips sometimes it's very rarely that I do that but when I do there's almost like this opening that takes place and yesterday we had one of those days as we drove through the mountain pass and into the unknown we went to this Italian city it was beautiful and it was interesting to notice how the climate can change sometimes in this part of places because here in, in our mountains we have a certain climate and then just when driving right from the passageway and from the mountain pass down back into the valley the climate changed almost instantaneously and we were like in another world and it really felt like these portal um, places of such extreme activities sometimes can feel very extreme in the conditions and the reason why I'm talking about this today because this is archetypal for these extremes that we feel when we're moving through these ascension energies we feel sometimes these extreme um, flows of highs and lows and a state of upliftment then coming into our heaviness again and please watch my previous video on personal self-liberation as our cellular system is being completely you know it's undergoing a major transformation change so this is the gateway for this what I'm going to be talking about today in this video um, the reason why I was called to do this playlist um, sometimes people ask me for things and I have so many videos and I don't know where to find you know the, the topics or something I mentioned in these videos before so it's kind of hard for me when people ask me personally to explain to them again each by each because there's too many people and too much work for me so please if you're guided to have a question then go into depth take some time to go through the topics at least of my videos and see which one you're kind of drawn to and trust then that that topic has an answer for you or you know there's never an absolute answer per se it's just like maybe there's a key to open another gateway within you so um, it's very important to address something first in topic of ascension symptoms that we really are now ready to step from the symptom based consciousness of just responding to these energies that are shifting and feeling okay you know <laughs> what's happening what's happening in my body what's happening with the energies you know into the consciousness of co-creating with these energies so when people often ask me about the symptoms there's a lot of a sense of fear and worry stress related with these symptoms because they don't know what they are and most of the symptoms that they're they're labeled as having no cause no apparent cause sometimes people go to the doctor they go to the hospital and they have no reference as to what's wrong with them because there's nothing wrong with them but our bodies are in responsive mode to what's happening um, collectively but it's not something that is passively taking place because sometimes we get this sense of the shift happening and then we have no control over it so okay the shift is something negative because it causes our bodies to have aches and pains and symptoms not true you know whenever we have a symptom that feels more like a hardship that feels like a stress for our body the first thing we need to do is we have all the basic healing tool within us which is the gift of breath breath is the Holy Spirit alignment is direct connection with source we often want to do other external things first but we need to shift to the consciousness that the breath always comes first okay so we have this remedy that is internal before accessing all the external remedies 
and then the external parts if you're guided and called to techniques and modalities or whatever it is for you if you're within those passageways into how to come into something that is balanced for you then it needs to be for you personally it cannot be you know sometimes people want you to give them an answer what to do directly as they're moving along with these energies nobody can do that for you because each person is individual each person is a unique being that's flowing in their own way through this ascension stream of light so what's taking place is the first thing after the breath after we connect with the breath is asking our soul to show us the main root where the symptom is located and then move beyond it move into the awareness of what the symptom really is and at that consciousness at that level it's no longer a symptom it's something within your body that responds to something that wants change, it wants transformation. And a lot of these things are happening naturally, so you don't have to do a lot. You just need to continuously nurture your body more. Um, you know, maybe sometimes it's shifting your diet to a light body diet. Um, maybe sometimes it's going out into nature more, you know, bathing in the sunlight more. Even when there's no sun, you're still in, I'm still exposed to direct sunlight when being outdoors, you know, through the clouds, the light of the sun permeates. Um, sometimes it will be changing your habits, changing your patterns. Sometimes it will be just listening to yourself more. A lot of times we don't listen. So these individual guidelines as to how you can um, better remedy yourself will be very personal for you. Nobody can give you the absolute answer. Nobody can give you the ultimate advice. Maybe sometimes something worked for someone and it won't work for you. But the thing that works for all of us is breath. Okay, so the exercise I'm going to provide for all of us is a sacred breath exercise. And it's connected to this fact that there's so much now, you know, there's so much information about our ascension and now everybody's ascending and everybody's in this new age and there's so much out there that sometimes even thinking about this can cause stress. The first step, you know, sometimes people when they hear about or they experience the symptoms, they go online, they search, they Google, they Google the ascension symptoms, they say, okay, maybe this is the symptom. So that's the first step. What do you do after? Does the symptom go away? Just knowing the symptom is there doesn't necessarily change how your body is in correspondence with you. So, the Spirit said to me today, <laughs> and it's like we still have this overview, almost like, oh, symptoms are happening, and I have these symptoms, and still we have this sense of we need to suffer through ascension. Now we need to suffer through these symptoms, but in fact, these are usually signposts of something not being in alignment with our truth and selves. So it's almost like we're being squeezed by all of that which is non-essential for us. So in truth, what these symptoms are doing on a greater level, when you can increase your perspective to that of the highest degree, to see within the light of divinity, the absolute neutrality of truth, then you will see that the symptoms are actually good because they're divine messengers that tell us where we're not aligned with something and they're connecting us more deeper with our bodies. In the previous message, I've shared with you that it's not all about being just up here and divine. There's a lot of people in the New Age who are very much into this New Age spirituality and they have this fascinating inner life, but in the physical they might still have a sense of having difficulties, too much symptoms, they still are addicted to things such as cigarettes, caffeine, bad processed food diet, which is not even a diet. <laughs> it's just garbage that we're putting into our bodies, which we're not perceiving as sacred holy vessels of spirit. And when this is so, it's time for us to reconnect that, to make that fusion into living a more balanced life and to really loving ourselves more. So when you move deeper into the symptom and go beyond and say, what is behind the symptom? What is the consciousness that permeates there? What is the message for me there? Instead of just panicking about all that's happening to your physical body, um, because this panic mode blocks, it clogs, it almost creates this cloud. Um, and you can't see through the mist, you can't see through the fogginess that you've created through this panic and fear, and then you cannot get guidance, you cannot that get higher directive. And sometimes really all it takes is to fine tune through the breath. All the masters have been teaching about the art of breath. Again, there is no one way how to breathe. Some people practice the, you know, the interchangeable nostril, uh, nostril breathing, almost like a, a part of the pranayama yoga. Kundalini yoga and a lot of these things are very good but again you know if we're not called to do them or we're doing it too much or not doing it the correct way um, and that only means when it's not correct it means that sometimes we overdo it or we mentally do it you know imagine a person doing this 
beautiful breathing technique and very balanced still state and they emanate this peace and you feel it close to their soul how their own natural body rhythm guides them and then you see another person who's like you know nervously breathing and wanting to change something and again there's more control behind this and this is no serenity so it's really important first for us to shift into this new consciousness of no longer calling it these essential symptoms, but calling it almost like tiny gateways for us to move further into our communion with the bodies, being best friend with your body. And whenever we have symptoms, they show us, hmm, maybe where we're not befriending our body through our true highest sovereign state of being. So one of the examples would be when we're trying to rush so much so fast with the pace of life we're not taking any moment for ourselves and this is the practice the exercise i'm going to show you when we are in such times to have that self-remedy and even if not it's still very much perfect for us to kind of keep the flow of conscious meditation of breath work of whatever it is i know how this is i can be very busy hyper you know a person who creates a lot of things corresponds with a lot of people out there and you're one of those and you want things or information from me please understand that there's only one me i have a sacred temple that i need to cherish and honor as well alongside with what i do so it's very important to understand that these symptoms were not created, you know? They're not, um, in a way, something we need to suffer through. They're not this um, necessary evil that we have to go through, but they're actually a calling. They're a calling to what needs to be broken apart for the new gem self to enter through. And whenever there is a symptom, there is also the awareness permeating behind that that says, look, I'm not only a symptom, I am a divine consciousness behind this body that speaks to you. And whether it's a physical accent, even those physical accents are sometimes messages of your body. They're telling you maybe stop, slow down, don't do that, don't go that path. But we all have communication around us, within us, everywhere that we don't always trust. And um, it's very important for us to move through these interpersonal gateways when we're tuning to these collective ascension energies because the planet moves through its ascension, the solar uh, fields are moving in their own way, the stellar ascension, there's Ascension is across these layers throughout these levels of existence and we need to find our own personal key codes of unlocking the potential that's there for us. Because what Spirit showed me yesterday, you know, how it is with these ascending energies on the planet, there's almost like these bigger gateways and tinier gateways that um, have to deal with the planetary energies. And then we, as planetary beings, you know, we have the body of the planet, of the mother of Gaia of the basic elements but when we're ascending we're also activating that fifth element and beyond so we do that through the kundalini fire that starts to rise up and that if that is so then our dna starts to shift and ascend and i talk a lot more about this in my soul alchemy ascension self-mastery course because it does describe how we can consciously work with our own soul alchemy and really with this dna um, shifting and integration it's almost like a mutation taking place as the soul alchemy progresses within us so we need to be ready we first need to be purified and that could the leaning fire which many talk about is that purification fire which is readying us to be more susceptible to these dna mutations that are taking place as we're ascending so what spirit showed me is there's these tinier gateways that are our own personal gateways and these deal with us personally assessing the things we need to it's almost like pressing the right buttons at the right time as we're moving through the gateways that are more bigger gateways grander gateways and when there's a gateway that opens it means consciousness was activated but we are deceiters are we going to seed it we're going to plant those seeds within ourselves and this is what we do through our own personal gateways so imagine there's a big gateway almost like this big door you yourself can move through and you only can move through when you have the proper key code and this deals in direct correspondence with your own personal inner uh, gateway so it's almost like the micro within the macro. And don't worry, sometimes people fear they won't make it through these great bigger portal gateways. It's because they're there. They're there. There's no need to fear, you know, oh, am I gonna go through it? Do I have to align and you know in a perfect way? So then we have this control mode which makes us exercise so much, do this and that way, because we wanna ascend just right. You know, there is no just right. 
there's just right now how it needs to be for us perfectly and that's why there's a call to so much serenity this year because within this eight infinity number universal year we've been experiencing so much and this sometimes overwhelms our nervous system and you know these DNA mutations are taking place through the nervous system and with the eclipse gateways these are almost like these consciousness upgrades that do actually within us within our own micro gateways occur through our nervous system and if we're not in stillness and if we don't move into awareness instead we move into the outside interpretation of things and this panicking and stress and control and worry then we're not really going to do the proper alignment which is basically so simple and a lot of it like i said comes through the breath so it's important for us to recognize first what are these gateways for us when you have a symptom it's not just the body symptom sometimes the symptom and i put it in brackets you know quote unquote is because the symptom might be a relationship that bears something to you that feels challenging or it might be a situation it might be something you feel um, is a non-resonance with you these are all the opportunities presented to us as we feel into our own initiation at that time what is this next level gateway for us? The micro gateway, gateway that will move us to the grander gateway, to the macro, right? So it's very important for us to first recognize this and then to find our own comfortable space, a tinier part, a tiny um, whole part within the bigger whole that feels comfortable with where we are, that trusts. The more we trust, the less these symptoms, you know, the less they will be here because our body will be in balance and, you know, integrity and integrated mode, you know. So it's very important for us to first understand this and then apply this understanding in our physical congruent actions and our daily living reality. Let's say you're very much a workaholic and you, at the same time, you want to focus on your ascension and you continuously separate the two. You say, okay, I'm going to do that after work, after, 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 and you continue to postpone it and it never comes or whatever it is, something maybe you'll be joyful about. And you continuously push it aside later, later, because you're separating your path of ascension, which is a natural organic pathway of the soul when it presses that button, you know, when your divine self is pressing the button, when you're already on a soul level, and you still feel it's something separate, like a hobby. <laughs> Ascension is not a hobby. So it does require patience, serenity, trust, um, so much patience. <laughs> I mean, I can't stress that word enough. The whole year we've been getting messages about patience. This is what it's all about. So, okay, um, when we have that understanding and when we know how to live it, and like I said, maybe at one time the gateway will be release that story or release that relationship because it applies with that story, which is an old story with the lack of self-integrity, self-love, um, you know, these patterns that are maybe familiar, uh, familiar as well, ancestral. Sometimes it will be changing diet. Sometimes it will be relocating. Sometimes the tiny gateway that you need to make will be just being sovereign and integrity with yourself when you say i'm gonna be more um you know nurturing towards my body go to bed earlier do this you know create less havoc and trauma in my life less activity but more focus when i have um, that action in my life and when you don't align with that in action and you're just saying it then sometimes the symptom will be there to say knock knock you know so the symptom is neither a punishment neither it's something we need to suffer through it's a wake-up call but in truth, it's a beautiful divine love messenger that is aligning us deeper with our bodies because a lot of the humanity has been torn from their human bodies. Um, they haven't really felt the true creation reason for the human body templates, what they serve for, what they can do, the unlimited potential they hold. So these symptoms in a way, when we will realize how much we can create anything that can be negative and um, pain related, there's always a dual side of that same coin, which means, wow, how much joy and beauty and bliss we can create at the same time. And that's when it will click for those people who are ascending. And that's why the symptoms are there. So they're more of a wake-up call than anything else. I'm glad because the sun is starting to shine through a bit. <laughs> so this is beautiful. But I would like to show you now that short exercise attunement. When you do feel it's too much, or maybe not with your actions, sometimes you feel you can, you're too empathic, you feel too much the energies of the shift, or you feel you're being upgraded too much, you say, ah, oh, too much, too much at the same time. I have moments when I am really hyper, when there's so much I want to do, and I want to do it all at once, because I'm in that mode when I think I can do anything. It's true in spirit form, I can, but I still have a human body, and sometimes my own <laughs> messages say, knock, knock, you still have a body. 
body, you know, all in due timing. We each have our own timing within the great divine perfection of all timing. So we need to follow through our own personalized divine timing as well as the great perfection of divine timing of all. Um, and to know that our divine timing is already aligned with, with all. There is no separation. When we will trust this, we will trust life. And trusting life is trusting spirit. And if we're called um, to have more of that trust integrated, I also have a course on mastering divine trust. So take care <laughs> of that within yourself. And if you're called and you know you're supported. And one of the you know things that I offer are also these mastery courses. So okay the exercise it's very simple so at these times when there can feel like there's so much all we need to do maybe at the end of the day what spirit showed me is a lot of individuals a lot of us basically we still hold a lot of residual energy in our plexus area because this is where most of the human bodies human vehicles were cut off from the higher ascending energies where we start to move into our hearts and beyond and this is where this um, lack of um, empowerment is still there. So sometimes when we give so much of this power away or we feel overwhelmed, there's too much, or there's worry, stress, fear, anxiety, it all comes from the center. So sometimes we start to push our belly or contract, and this is where we are either not breathing deeply enough, we have shallow breathing. You know, sometimes even when you're driving a car, we were driving yesterday on the road trip, I mean, I was driving, <laughs> and you're driving and you, you can start to notice, am I breathing deep enough? start breathing deeply you know you're not going to be sleepy uh, in the, uh, the road anymore everything can be solved through the breath but the thing is we're not used to having breathing deeply all the time just maybe in meditation work or when we do exercise when we're running because that's when we have to otherwise we run on the breath so when we have those moments and especially after um, we've had something very um, very stressful for us so there was a situation we need to do a lot of work or it feels we're pushing ourselves there's a lot of self-control or before going to bed what spirit said the most important thing for each ascending soul is before bedtime take a few moments no matter how sleepy you are it can only take a minute because when we fall dead asleep after being so overworked or i don't know even if it's a beautiful thing even if it's a party or something you really enjoy doing still it's important before you go to bed this is when you're going to go to rest and before you go to rest before you um go and explore <laughs> in another realm and it's important that you set the intention that you set the peaceful tone because if we don't do that a lot of times we might have dreams that are a bit disturbing or there's other people coming into our sacred space at night i've had this experience the whole summer when somebody i was releasing from my life kept coming in the dreams i kept telling me things i'm like oh you know how do i resolve this and spirit said you need to create this beautiful love light shield that is your love shield it means that only people who are heart-centered can enter those who are still egoic they cannot enter through this and um, that's why they can still come sometimes and they're unconsciously um you know they're almost like tiny parasites like this vampire energy that's plugging into us so before bedtime it's really important that we take at least one minute to calm us to calm ourselves to center ourselves to the breathing whatever technique you're using or even if it's no technique just a few deep breaths and then what you do is take your hands because your focus will be on eliminating anything dense that you still feel in a way you're holding on to and it's important to do this before bedtime because you're setting the stage for having a peaceful night rest you want to um, resume your yourself and your journey in your again wakened state um, through a state when you really have that peaceful rest not when you're out there at night you know fighting off energetic vampires in a way well that does exist so when you work with your hands their energy you are a powerful magician don't forget that um, just put them in a prayer position and the next thing you do is you take both of the hands put them on your belly you can put it in triangular shape or whatever kind of way and start doing a few circles you know with the hands you do circles on your belly and you still breathe and as you do that you imagine that there's almost like a sucking vortex of golden white spiraling light that as you're doing these rotation movements you know you can do it in both uh, counterclockwise and in clockwise position however much you feel there is no rule the only golden rule is that you feel good you feel this is it you're working with cosmic intention okay 
and your sovereignty. So then as you do this, you close your eyes, you're still breathing deeply. You imagine that this, um, almost like this sucking wormhole you're creating, is sucking out of you all these things that they feel dense, all these beliefs, patterns, energies from others. And as you do this very gently, very lightly, as you feel it's complete, when you will feel its completion, you will feel almost like, hmm, Maybe you will even hear a click, maybe a guidance inside of you will say, that's it, or stop, or you're ready, or, you know, it's done. And then even you can say it to yourself, you can affirm, so it is, and it is done. And you feel how then you give this, all of that, which is not authentic to you and to your ascending light, your golden white luminescent presence. And then when you're ready, when it's complete, just draw it forth, almost like, Put your hands together almost like you know when you're grabbing a pile of something you kind of <laughs> grab it together and it's almost like ah you know you have it in your hands your hands are powerful tools of the divine and then what you do is from that center and your belly with your hands almost like you create an energy you like this with the energy because that will neutralize it you're already neutralizing whatever you've grabbed and you neutralize it you create this beautiful energetic ball but if there's anything left that's still not fully um, dissolved into its true state of bliss, of divine essences, just draw it forth through your column of light, like this. And imagine that you're giving that ball of light to your higher self, to your guides, angels, masters, all the luminous and beings that serve the law of unity, the law of one within grace. Pass it on to them, and when you feel that you really have done the process, draw your energy back in but this time you're only drawing forth from the white light of unity and as you release put your hands back down and this time you do it in a column of light or a triangular shape and it's all beautiful and white and diamond sparkly you can even do like this like tinkles of light and it's a quick shower of light before bedtime we all shower physically but do we shower energetically as well it's really important for our physical ascension to stay in integrity with these exercises and i'm going to keep you updated with this i feel it's very important because we need to walk our talk and we need to be vessels for the highest light of integrity and truth so sparkles of light this beautiful white light with shimmering diamond essence throughout your whole field just feel like you have this cloth of white all over you and then ready yourself if you're just before going to bed for your beautiful rest night of sleep and so that your soul uh, goes in its sovereignty so that you don't have these drained um, components and parts that don't belong to you and all of that because it's not something you need a lot of times we think we do our unconscious parts of us just absorb it so it's a very simple exercise of simple attunement you can even do that after you are in a correspondence with someone that feels very dense in energy and let's face it a lot of times we're here we meet people we're meant to meet them to assist them on their journey but it, feel, it, it feels like you were empathic instead of in compassion and you maybe have drawn something onto you which is, doesn't belong to you you can do that exercise it only can take a minute you can even do it for a longer time you can you know you can do it a, a slow motion version with beautiful music whatever you prefer just trust your guidance and really I put my heart <laughs> on my heart in your heart and I say just forget about worry stress and tension and remember that if there were any situations where you felt wow how am I ever gonna move through this and remember after the gateway after your passing oh I moved through this remember that state this is always so so instead of moving through the other side you know with this tension and control and resistance why not do it with joy and bliss? And this is why these exercises of light of the masters that are always there with us and our own master selves, they're here for us. And another beautiful way of attuning to this is um, an offering that I'm doing with these spirit, Holy Spirit attunements. The third one I promised to you in the previous video wasn't really uploaded by the timing that I said it was available because my internet had issues. There were huge solar flare. Now things settle down a bit. So this affected the 
World Wide Web grid of light and I had issues, technical difficulties, but I was able to upload the, um, the Celestial Attunement with the Holy Spirit message on Divine Guidance. So there's now three messages available for those of you who feel, you know, it's beautiful to have such support. You can even listen to this before bedtime. They're also very com um, comforting. When you're moving and doing this inner work, you're ascending template, you know, you decided you want to be joyful, you want to be in your own energy. That's the basic thing of ascension, being a total sovereign. And most of the people, let's face it, they're not. And they have not just this, but fractions and parts of other people and situations that really don't have anything to do with them. They also um, absorb a lot of these um, how to call it, it's almost like these through fake perceptions of what we are, who we are, and these names and titles we have about ourselves that are not very grounded. We also absorb a lot of these mental filters that again will clog the energy. And instead of just being who we are, we're gonna, we're gonna create uh, a numerous amounts of these filters. And this again filters through us. So the white light of unity cannot move through us so easily when we have so much filter, so many filters, pardon me. <laughs> And the reason why sometimes people say, how is this person so much in spirit is because they're filter free. So they have this direct link. The light can be like, you know, zap. And this is what is our intention in our physical ascension, to be these direct pillars, to have this cosmic consciousness always available. This is what we're always meant to be like. And with these exercises, um, self-nourishment, light diet, enough rest, enough sleep, nourishment, love, loving yourselves, nurturing ourselves, meditation time, joyful time, out in the sunlight, all of these things, together with all, we're creating these secret tools, which are basically just natural ways of being a divine human being. And we're moving on to the other side with that. So enjoy your new, there's a new Ascension update on my page, ascensionpioneers.org. Um, on this post-eclipse phase, what's integrating. So, whew, I had a lot of work these past few days and I need to do some of the art to focus on my project, so maybe I'm gonna be a bit away for a while. Um, I greet you in this space of grace and as always, so much love is in power and I'll talk to you again soon.